Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we got to uh, Yafutoma, and we were exploring, and uh, holy crap, guys, I have not played this game for about th just over three weeks, I think, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway... Uh, we were halfway through exploring the city, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure we've already spoke to this guy. Ah, right, we were supposed to be going to Mount Kazai. Yes, I remember though. But we're not going to go just yet, because uh, we've still got a couple of little bits and pieces here to find. So, there is a cham, which apparently is here somewhere between two waterfalls. Well, there's one waterfall. So let's have a little look. I've been awfully distracted. Uh, re ah, wait a minute. How do we get around? I think we'll go the long way around. Yeah, I've been awfully distracted uh, this last couple of weeks. With deep fear. On the Sega Saturn. Which is fantastic. It's deliciously cheesy. So, there should somewhere. There we go. Where are you? There's no point in hiding. Come on. There we go. Cham number one. Also, I, I know we had to switch up our magic for our party because some of our magic, uh, well, some of our party members had um, maxed out their particular magic trees. So, Vase is Vase has maxed out red magic. Uh, ooh, Ica has almost maxed out green and red and purple. Oh, she's maxed out uh, yellow. Interesting. Fina has maxed out silver and yellow. Yellow Enrique has mastered. Okay. So Ica needs to be anything. Well, I suppose we can change her to green. Right, let's just do that quickly. Whilst we feed. I can't remember all the controls again. Ah, goddammit. Okay. Cham. Hey, he's now a cupel spear. This is excellent. And I'm pushing B to exit. Uh, instead of going back, it just completely exits the game. Right, so, Vase, I'm going to want you to be... You're blue. Yeah, that'll work. Blue's fine. Um, sure. Ica. Let's have... Let's have Ica finish off green. Just because. She's doing yellow. Is yellow full? It is. Right. So we're wasting time with her. So thanks to Games Librarian for pointing this out. Uh, I have been meaning to change it for a while, but I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Uh, there we go. Right, so let's get you done with uh, green. So who else have we got here? Now, Cupel is... Definitely don't want cupel to be uh, that color. Uh, purple, maybe, or blue, I guess. How is she doing with blue magic? Yeah, blue's fine. There's plenty of meat on the bones for blue. Now, Enrique, what color are you, sir? You're yellow, which, interestingly, I think he's maxed out on yellow. He is. I don't know, let's say, oh, Enrique, you can be silver. Sure, why not? I guess it doesn't matter too much which colors they become. It just, you know, you don't want them training um, in a school of magic that they've already done. Because, let me update my notes because I just found that jam. Because you're just wasting experience. Okay. Hello. Hello. No, I don't want to practice sailing. I don't care if I can't sail a tub ship. 
Prince uh, Daigo will come back home by himself. Just fine. Even if I don't go searching for him. Oh. Searching for the prince. Okay. You should uh, have some fun in a tub ship. Look, can we talk to the other one? It's got to be, surely the other one's got to be a big sister. There we go. Come on, hurry up and get in. You said you'd practice sailing in this tub ship. If you can't even sail a tub ship, you're never going to be able to help search for the Prince Diego. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. Uh, <laughs> we may have already done that ourselves. Okay, so we've got some weapons here. This leads us to the shops. Let's have a little little look. Oh, look how look look at this, man! You've got like a river running through this shop. How cool is this? This looks absolutely superb. Well, my, my, what can I do for you? Well, young lady, let me have a look and see what you're selling. Uh, whoa, wow. Complete hill. So we can go for that. You know, Not a bad idea. Get some more of those. Keep our crystals always, forever, topped up. Uh, a thousand XP to all. I mean, these are pretty good crystals as well. They're cheap, so sure. 43, so let's get seven more. There we go. Brings up to a nice uh, round number. What else have you got here? What else have you got? Uh, constant. Oh! Okay, yeah, all right, well, I mean, well, we don't just want one, do we? I always buy things in packs of ten, so we'll get another one. That's a lot of, uh, should we get another ten? That will keep us uh, magicked up for a while. So, uh, so, what does that do? 50% chance of bringing someone back. Revive an ally, uh, ally to max health. Yeah, so they're the guaranteed heals. These are important. They're expensive, but they're important. I mean, technically, we can cast that anyway. But, you know, having a 50% chance just doesn't seem worth it to me. Okay, cool. What else do you know, young lady? The Great Wall that surrounds this island was built by our ancestors in order to protect, protect the country. But the Great Wall isn't really what protects us. What really protects us is the blue winds. Well, okay then. Thank you for your time. All right then, please come again. Uh, yeah, me, we, we, we may do. Seems to sell some pretty decent items here. Now we get to the meat and the potatoes of this place. Let's get some Japanese steel. Um, totally not Japanese steel, I suppose. Uh, right, what can I get you? Talk about this and that. Tenkoi is the name. Tenko is the name of the of a gang of outlaws. They go around seizing weapons, spouting something about how bare hands are more powerful. You say you ran into a Tenko? You're lucky you got away without losing your weapons or your life. Yeah. Well. I guess Lady Luck has uh, been on our side for a while. So, Ying Wing. Tear shaped blade crafted by a masked weaponsmith from a single piece of moonstone. Sounds good. I, I mean, this uh, Saran blade, it's slightly better, but it's not that much better. Ooh, Blade of Slumber is way better. I mean, you know, any small. Bonus is a small bonus, I guess. So, we'll get all of these weapons. Ica, I mean, plus 11, that's not bad. Happy with that. Ying Wing, sure. Uh, Blade of Slumber, very cool. Put enemies to sleep as well. That seems to be a reasonably useful um, weapon, for sure. Okay, so, ooh. 
Hmm, scale mail. So, I'm thinking scale mail for vase. We'll get Ica. This one. Saranchu, I guess. Probably butchering how you say this, but uh, I don't care. Long robe. Oh. Oh. That's really freaking good for Fina. Yeah, I will get one of those for Fina. Does she not have anything equipped? Interesting. Okay, uh, now, who needs armor? So, Enrique, I get, I mean, it's better. And technically, it's significantly better for Fina. And it's only a very slight hit to magic, so we'll get two of those, sure. Two long robes, one for Fina and one for Enrique. Cool. Right, now let's go on a sellathon. We'll sell that. Makes dreams come true. I mean, come on. Doesn't seem to be that useful. We're not here to make dreams come th true, are we? We're here to murder people. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm slowly crawling back a little bit of that money. Okay. Uh, well, we don't need the wind gem. Protect. Oh, hang on. Protects against sleep. I mean, eh, not really. Okay, let's go. That's good. We've got some new weapons. We're all loaded for bear. Excellent. Now, we need to get a tub ship. And we need to go off the edge with it. Now, that might sound suicidal, but bear with me. We kind of need it because we can get a new crew member. At least I think we can get her now. I'm not 100% sure. I'm fairly sure. And uh, she's actually, she's an optional character, but she's pretty cool. Now the tub ship. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's this particular tub ship we need. Now, let's go down here. Yeah, we can go off here. Cool. Now, it seems suicidal. Maybe it is. But... <laughs> it's one way of travelling with style, I suppose. Okay. Hey, look at that. Ducks. Lovely. Now... Yeah, here we go. Sure, that's her there. Now, how do we get off? Sure, we can dock here somewhere. Somewhere. And... My emulator... Being a pain. Well, it's not actually even my emulator. It's Windows being a pain. Right, how do we dock here then? So we've come down. Ah, unless it's here, maybe? There we go. I think this tub ship stays there as well, so. Now let's go talk to this lady over here. Toiling away. She's a master builder. There she is. Oh, you must be the Westerners they're all talking about. I'm Kerala. I'm the best builder in the country. So what do you think of our town? I bet you don't see such fine structures in your country. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's nothing special. Load of old shit, love. Um, you're right about that. What a difference between seeing something uh, and only hearing about it. You've really got a fine looking town here. <laughs> Do you really think so? Well, it sure warms my heart to hear you say that. 
Say, maybe I should go back west with you and visit your country. I could probably show you Westerners a thing or two that would really amaze you. Uh, uh, hey, what are you going to do about this place then? It's still under construction. <laughs> Not to worry, this is my own house. It was getting pretty old, so I decided to remodel. Well then, it's decided. I'll go back with you to your country and build all sorts of things for you. Incidentally, I have a little sister named Ulura. Uh, you might want to give her a holler too. Okay, well, there's one. So, she will actually build um, some stuff for us in our, in our, on our island. It's actually really useful to have her. Uh, and yeah, her sister as well. We need to find her sister. Ooh. Let's see where this goes. Ah, oh, I'm guessing this is just going to take us... Yes. Back. Oh, dude. Look at this. This is worth coming up here. <laughs> Imagine being the poor sap that's got to ferry that tub ship back up there. That was cool. Right, okay. Well, before we do that... Now, her sister... I can't remember where her sister actually is. Um. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember where she is. <laughs> Let's get off here. Really annoy them. Like, wind up the locals by moving their ships all over the place. What is this? Food! Food! Uh, yeah. Well, I don't have any food for you. I wish I did. That'd be cool. What's this? Almost looks like candy inside this small bottle. Yeah, well, I guess we can't really be going uh, stealing from other people, can we? It's not exactly the best impression to give. Um, what else do we have? And yep, the music is so good here. You know, sir, my big sister spends all of our time worrying about how our princess is doing. Yeah, it seems like a waste of time. Princess uh, Mo Mogai, I don't know, has really been down in the dumps lately. I wonder if it's because she's worried about her brother. Goodness me, why am I rattling on to a visitor from abroad who I've only met for the first time? Please pay no attention. Um, you're you're fine. It's cool. Hmm, I wonder what this drink is made of. Doesn't smell quite like loqua. And it's green, too. Ah. wonder if it's some of that f amazing um, Asian green tea. Who knows? Anyway, let's go. So, we've got a sister to recruit. Which I believe we have to recruit her by going back up here. And now we can go to the tea house. We've got to try and get to the tea house. We know how to get into the tea house from the wrong end, which is, well, nobody's going to be happy about that. And we've already been sheltered. Maybe these are magical. Maybe they return on their own. I love the design. You know, I think about this uh, town quite a bit. Can you imagine what they could do if they, like, took this game back to the drawing board and completely rebuilt it from scratch with uh, modern consoles and PCs in mind. Can you imagine what they could do? Can you imagine this, like, giant floating, like, Asian-inspired city, you know, with all these waterfalls and everything? They could do something really cool with it. Uh, now, how do we get to the tea house? That's the next question. See, that's the back door. We're not allowed to go in the back door. They don't like us going in the back door anyway. Which, are, you know, fair enough, I guess. Ah, over there, perhaps. Nothing wrong. Sometimes you just have to use the back door. Although, can cause uh, sticky situations to arise. 
Now let's go and ooh, this looks like the way in. Yeah, we'll go in through the front today. Ah no, these are the weapon shop. This is the weapon shop. Where's the tea house? <gasps> ah, was that the tea house over there? Might be the tea house. This is what happens when you don't play a game for like six hundred years. Now if we put the map on. Ah yes. Oh, I think I remember. I think. No guarantees. Place your bets. See if I remember how to get to the tea house. Wasn't that the tea house? The idea of these tub ships is really cool as well. Ah, yes, it's got a picture of a kettle. So I'm guessing this is the tea house. Hello. Oh, you were here the other day, weren't you? Well, a couple of weeks ago now, but yeah. Welcome back. Uh, hi, excuse me, but would you happen to be um, Kilala Sisters? K K Kira, yeah. Kirala? Kiralas? Kiralas? That doesn't sound very Asian. Ah. Uh, little sister by any chance? Uh, y yes, I am, but why'd you ask? I thought so. Actually, uh, Kerala, Kerala, maybe Kerala, has decided to join the crew of our ship as a builder. We're wondering if you might be interested in joining our crew too. Me, but uh, unlike my sister, I'm not good for much of anything besides cooking. But that, that's a pretty good skill to have on a ship. Cooking is a perfectly fine skill to have. How would you like to? Join our crew as a cook. Yeah, because obviously we already have a cook, but Polly, uh, but she'd probably like a day off once in a while. Sh sure, okay, if my sister's joining too. But are you sure I qualify for the job? Of course you do. You can make us all kinds of tasty Yafutoman dishes. Uh, all right, I I'll do my best. Thank you. Excellent. So, there's also another person we can get, but I don't think we can get them yet. I don't think. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think we can get them yet. So, okay. Now, let's go. Let's go back to the weapon guy. And I suppose it's about time. We head off. Uh, dude, can you like get out of the way so I can dock my ship? Thank you. Very rude of you. Um, now, let's go downstairs. So there's actually still two other people here. It is two other people, isn't it? It is, yeah. Still two other people we need to hire. But we haven't defeated who we need to defeat yet. So, I understand that you wish to go to Mount Kazai. Let's do it. Uh, we're good, I think. Did we? I can't. I, I guess we already bought ship parts. <laughs> I can't remember. My god, it's been a... Ooh, ah. Yamato spirit. Oof. Uh, maybe we didn't buy. Things. Um. Wow. That really does, um, increase our magic defense by a humongous amount. But I'm not sure... It's that useful. See, we can get Rodder Grease here, which is cool. Slows the rate of spirit consumption. So I'm guessing that just makes things cost less. We'll get some. Uh, don't really care about... Oh, we're running out of gear grease. Let's load up on that stuff. Kind of draining our wallets dry here. Uh, right, let's... So, okay. Um, these are better than the advanced cannons. 
So let's goof two of these bad boys. Boop. Wow. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Serpent torpedo is much better than the heavy torpedo. So we shall replace that as well. Wow, we've like bankrupted ourselves nearly. And we're going to need a lot of money soon as well. Because when we start building up our uh, base, that shit's expensive, yo. Uh, don't know what the accuracy's like. Yeah. <laughs> um... Good lord, that's better. Secondary cannon. Short range, high powered cannon. Uh, yeah, it's definitely high powered. I'll give you that. Right. Okay. Is that five inch or five foot cannon? This can't be five foot, that'd be insanity. Right. Okay, let's get a little bit of money back by selling all of this stuff. 220, 250. Yeah, two. No, it does sound better, but. Ugh. See that? Oh, wait, maybe it is foot because that's inch. 10 inch. Huh. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Then let's get going to Mount Kazai. I'll get the ship underway so you guys can sit back and take it easy. Oops, I almost forgot. If we're going to go inside Mount Kazai, I better take this along. You receive the underwater suit. Deep inside Mount Kazai is a cavern, and in some places there will be water. This underwater suit should come in handy. What? We have to go underwater? But I can't swim. Do not worry. As long as you're using the underwater suit, you should be fine. Just be sure to breathe normally. Well then, shall we be going? Make way for Mount Kazai. Let's go. Cool looking ship. Wow, the water here is so calm, it looks like glass. <laughs> it's hard to imagine that this was a volcanic area covered in lava at one time. What is that thing? Oof. What? It looks like a huge bird. That must be, uh, Blueheim. Blueheim. Blueheim? Yes, Blueheim was the blue gigas. Looks like Blueheim was trapped in the lava and encased in stone. Yeah, that's that's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure we'll never have to fight him, will we? If that thing ever got free, we'd be in trouble. The gigas that you faced so far couldn't fly. I can't imagine how this one would be. We should secure the blue crystal as soon as we can. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds like a reasonable idea. Anyway, guys, we're actually out of time. Oh, we can talk to this chap. If you ever want to head back to Yafatoma, just let me know. Right, let's stay here a little bit longer because, well, we haven't uh, done anything yet. Right. I'm going to drop a save here, guys. And that is that. When we come back, we're going to go deeper into these treacherous flooded caverns yeah anyway till then guys thanks for watching